This video is sponsored by Random Dice Defense, a card game where you can create a battle deck of five different dice, all with unique abilities, and create millions of combinations to match different playstyles. When you merge the same type of dice with the same number of dots, you will be able to level up that dice to a higher level tower, with the tower type changing randomly when you merge them. Within this game, strategy is quite literally key, or I guess king because it's a, it's, a, it's a tower type game. You can summon, merge, or power up your cards by using SP strategically, and in some situations, summoning a greater number of weaker dice could be better than having a small number of strong dice. On top of that, this game has various different gameplay modes, such as PvP, co-op, arcade, and crew, where waves of co-op rounds can go on for hours. If you and your partner are good enough, you can join a crew for social features and exclusive crew content, and you can try the arcade mode for different challenges and trade in arcade tokens for special prizes. If you'd like to support this channel and check out Random Dice Defense, please do feel free to check the link in the description to build your deck today. Thank you to Random Dice for sponsoring this video, and back to your regularly scheduled program. Quantum TV at this point is notorious and well documented for his copyright abuse, someone who does not understand YouTube's copyright abuse at all, despite looking so far into it to try and figure it out. It's insane to me how this dude continues to threaten to strike down any video about him, and continues to run smear campaigns on anyone who makes videos about him, simply because he made one bad review on Elden Ring, and couldn't stand the fact people disagreed with him, and started making excuses to justify threatening smaller creators at the time to take down their videos. So today I'm playing it risky. I'm trusting the system to do its job and not allow Quantum to take this video down as I continually satirize and highlight everything wrong with every argument he's presented and explain the entire situation up until now to you and the things that haven't been discussed so far by other creators. So if you'd like to support me in doing that and support me in taking this risk to bring you this content, please do consider subscribing to the channel to help me reach 100,000 subscribers in the next few months. It's a goal I've aimed for for a long time and getting that plaque would only hurt Quantum TV even more knowing how mad he got when other people who called him out ended up succeeding succeeding from it. This situation goes back to when Quantum TV had 60,000 subscribers and a YouTuber called Mischief with 7.9k made a video criticizing Quantum TV for a video he released discussing Elden Ring. This video presented some incredibly bad and very poorly researched opinions throughout, arguing that nobody could enjoy the game Elden Ring unless they were already previously used to the torture Dark Souls games put them through, and that the game was simply too hard for newcomers to the series, an opinion I couldn't disagree with more. As as someone who played Elden Ring as their first Dark Souls game earlier this year, I can say I absolutely adore the way the game challenges you. And while it was a bumpy road at the start of the game where there were some bugs with the game that caused me some issues, like I had some freezing, as soon as those bugs were resolved, I have had nothing but fun playing this game. And while I still haven't completed it, I can say I'm incredibly happy to put more hours into this game, and I've put more hours into Elden Ring in the past few months than I've put into any game in the past few years. He constantly rants about how many times you're gonna die over and over and over in this game because there's no easy difficulty and as such the bosses are just simply too difficult to beat. I don't think this dude has ever learned of grinding in a game before or avoiding the big fuck off enemies that are probably gonna kill you at the start of the game. I think he ended this game thinking it was Pokemon where every enemy around his spawn point was gonna be friendly or that they were gonna be ridiculously low leveled to match his level at that point in the game so that he could destroy them. Unfortunately Elden Ring is a game which expects you to be competent enough to understand that when you walk into the big fuck off dragon, you're probably not going to be able to take it with your starter gear, and maybe instead you should start by fighting some lower level enemies, farming, grinding and improving your levels so that you can either choose to take them at an equal level or over level yourself to have an easy fight. The game expects you to think, unlike many other games that baby you nowadays, and I suppose that was just too much for this dude. It's perfectly acceptable to say that this game isn't for you, or that you didn't have a good experience with it, but to say that this game offers nothing for a new player to the series is completely wrong, and I can confirm that personally because I'm a new player to the series. But I suppose that doesn't matter because in Quantum TV's words, this game is for somebody who really is looking for a sandbox. They have no family, no friends, no life, and they have literally thousands of hours to grind away. The only people who would like this game have no family, no friends, and no life. I don't know how that has any semblance of relevance to whether you enjoy a game or not. You can be fatherless and still like Minecraft, but whatever I guess, it doesn't really matter in this dude's mind. <laughs> to me, he just comes across as the type of person who can't accept that he's wrong and got upset when people said that he simply needed to get good at the game, which is reality for a Souls game. <laughs> I come home from work, I'm trying to unwind, I'm trying to relax. I'm not trying to sit there stressed out on some fucking game yelling at the screen trying to hashtag 
get good. Because that's like this mentality that all you guys have kind of gotten submitted into. I honestly don't understand how you can sit through some of these cinematic marvels throughout this game. Some of these moments that look absolutely jaw-dropping during these fights. Moments that I replayed fights and let myself loose for simply so I could witness again with my friends. And describe this game as having nothing of substance in it. Or just a you died simulator. Today I'll be giving you guys a review of Elden Ring. Essentially, I don't buy this game. The name of the game should not be called Elden Ring. The name of the game should be called You Die. Again and again and again. And it's really disappointing to see this dude clearly not understand anything about this game and to be completely closed to giving the game a chance to understand it. And as such, his review comes across as extremely biased, extremely uninformed, and as a consequence, remaining ridiculously below par in comparison to any other review I've seen. Because there are totally reasons to criticize or dislike aspects of Elden Ring. I personally find that some of the text feel a little low quality, and I feel that some of the inputs are a little buggy or sometimes delayed in ways that I feel annoy me and act as a hindrance to the game, while in certain situations I feel that I'm killed by things that feel unjustifiable. Like those fucking rolling things that will just one tap you in any situation, I can't stand them, whoever designed them I genuinely hate you. The point is, the game as a whole, aside those flaws, is a game I believe a lot of people can really enjoy, and I feel painting it so one-sidedly as a game that has no redeeming qualities is completely a disingenuous representation of the game, and that's why so many people had issues with this review in particular. And when I first saw this review, I hoped that he would take the feedback from the people that had responded and make a video correcting himself or giving the game a second chance or being more willing and open to admit more about what the game actually has in favour of itself. He didn't do that though, because why would he admit he was wrong? He instead made a follow up to this video, one that was equally as bad or worse than the previous video he made, where he doubles down on every single point he presented within his previous video while character attacking every single person who disagreed with him. Oh boy. Oh boy! So as you guys know, I did a review on Elden Ring. That didn't go very well apparently for some people. Yeah, you can say that again. So, I'm receiving some backlash now that I wanted to address with some of you. A lot of you are not only being childish, but I don't think you're actually seeing this objectively. You see, every single Dark Souls fan watching this video right now had to die a million and one times to learn how to play that game. Using that experience and laterally jumping over into Elden Ring, you're able to, again, experience that level of challenge, but it's not as hard because you've already done something similar before. He says people aren't seeing his video objectively, and also saying that every Dark Souls fan had to die a million and one times to be good at Elden Ring, and aren't experiencing it the way newcomers like him are, where they have to struggle to get good. He's speaking from a completely biased perspective, one that doesn't reflect many other newcomers like myself, and very clearly shows his video as not a neutral or unbiased portrayal of this series and this game. But you see, somebody like me, I've never played Elden Ring. I've never played Dark Souls. I don't even, I didn't even know Elden Ring was a part of the Dark Souls series. And you know what I met with when I talk about flaws with the series? The same thing I met with the TV world, where when you mention a problem with something, fans of that series just damage control it. They'll say stupid, petty, chisty, catty, childish shit. Like, Oh, you've lost credibility because you've spoke your mind, you, you gave your opinion, you now have no credibility with me. He says people who saw his review were damage controlling with the game when they heard his criticisms of the game. Once again, I think it's because you simply didn't understand the core mechanics of the game and asked for an easy mode in a game that it is very easy to beat if you simply overlevel yourself or follow online strategy guides to learn how to get good. Don't expect the game to baby you and do all the work and give you an easy mode. I think an easy mode would severely impact this game because one of the major benefits of Elden Ring and the reason so many people like myself like the game is because overcoming that challenge and defeating a difficult enemy after fighting and practicing and learning for so long how to get good to beat them is such a satisfying and rewarding experience. And I completely respect that there are people in this world who do not look for that challenge in a game, who want an easy or simple non-challenging experience with a game. And Elden Ring isn't a game made like that for you. So if you aren't interested in a game that gives you a challenge, Elden Ring likely isn't a game for you. And while that's perfectly fine, I think it's illogical to complain about that or be mad that this game isn't made for you. If you don't like this game personally, in your opinion, that's fine. But there's no reason to make videos calling it bad or hating on it simply because you don't get it personally. His video comes off as ridiculously hypersensitive, complaining that people said he lost credibility because he made a review that was biased one-sided and lacked all of the full story, with him portraying his opinions as fact. 
as factual information as why the game is bad and not as why he personally didn't really vibe with the game. With him responding to the criticism people gave him, saying, Okay, bye bitch, I don't give a fuck. The reality is, that's my opinion based off of playing it as a new person. They have no easy mode. The graphics are dog shit. Are you sure about that? The graphics are dog shit. The graphics are dog shit. The graphics are dog shit. Showing he's unwilling to change, learn, or be more open to other opinions on this game. Which I think as a reviewer looks really bad. When you review a product, you're reviewing that with an open mind and acceptance that other people will have different opinions to you. When you put an opinion out there, not everyone is gonna like it. So when you react to people disliking it by attacking them, it seems really pathetic. But what is astronomically more pathetic is how he says people who enjoy this game or disagree with his review. You guys literally sound like, like abuse victims, right? <laughs> But like you're in a really shitty relationship and that's just how it is, man. You know, you just take it on the chin, man. It's how it is. What? This is where this review goes from simply opinion to one of the dumbest, most insane statements and arguments I've ever seen presented. How can you make a review so bad that the people who disagree with you and like the game are portrayed as abuse victims in your mind as your only way of coping with the fact people don't like your opinion? There aren't even words for how disappointing and shocking it is to hear a dude go off about how everyone who disagrees with him are abuse victims as a desperate cope to avoid accepting that maybe he just made a bad video. We all do it dude, just delete the video and move on. If you said you were wrong at the start, the backlash would have disappeared almost instantaneously, but instead you kept responding, kept trying to silence people by threatening to strike them, and as a result, through Streisand effect, more and more people's eyes continue to be put on this situation. Your review was that bad that a dude who uses a dog avatar and has two phallic dog in the background of his set is able to take the moral high ground over you. I'm just kidding, I don't really think Nax is that bad. But I, uh, it is beyond me how his videos get monetized like this. But surprisingly, the abuse victim statement wasn't even the worst take I've heard in this video. Because he then goes on to say, it, it, You shouldn't be saying that's how it is, or, you know, we just know that that's how the, these games are. It's not for everyone. A game that's not for everyone isn't a game that should be made, in my opinion. I don't know how you're a reviewer. I don't know how you review products and don't understand the concept of genres, people's personal opinions when it comes to genres or types of games they like to play, and age ratings on games. Unsurprisingly, a 12 year old should not be playing a graphic game like Doom, which involves brutal murder and graphic gory kills. And a 19 year old dude is probably not going to be playing Hello Kitty games in his free time. Just speaking statistically, games have demographics, everything has a demographic, and not everyone is going to enjoy a certain type of game. To say that a game that isn't for everyone one shouldn't be made is a complete betrayal of the existence of genres and age ratings in the first place. How can you call yourself a reviewer with a straight face when you hold opinions this dumb? Just delete these videos, move on, and never comment on these again. If I was you, I would distance myself as far as possible from these opinions. But instead, you're threatening to strike down at the time 7k subscriber channels because you're afraid of their opinions and want to make it out as if for some reason they are abusing the copyright system by using clips of your videos to respond. You made the mistake as a channel 10 times the size of the person you were upset at of threatening them, and now channels bigger than you, like me, The Act Man, and Musaha, are commenting on it and bringing many eyes to the situation in an attempt to satirize you or mock how terrible the opinions you've presented are. Of course, when you go to the community as a new gamer, you would uh, you would think, right, as a gamer, you'd have people being welcoming. I had maybe five people in the whole comment thread, like, hey man, you know, let's do those bosses together, I'll help you out. You know, only five people, the rest of them were like, oh, you're a clown, you've lost credibility. He goes on to complain that people within this community were not welcoming to him, and he only had a few people in the comments being willing to help him with the game. Your first video said the people who liked this game had no friends, no family, and no life. You expected people to react positively and kindly to that? You're insane, dude. It's so ironic to see a dude be so hateful and then expect only kindness in return. And dude, I cannot believe, and I genuinely cannot say this with a straight face, he follows up the fact that no one in this community was kind to him following his terrible first video by telling the people who disagreed with him to Go kill yourself, man. Go kill yourself, man. Go kill yourself, man. How did this all start with 
with an Elden Ring review. It went from an Elden Ring review to now he's threatening to strike down almost every YouTuber who makes a video on him. People like Actman are threatening to clean him out in court. And I don't even know what to say at this point. It speaks for itself. This is a dude so unwilling to take criticism over a shitty Elden Ring review that he attempted to strike down the Actman's first video mocking him. There is so much more I could say about this situation, about his review, about his responses, about his posts on social media, about the things people have dug up about him. But I think these videos in themselves epitomize everything I could possibly say and speak volumes about this dude's character and how this dude acts and responds to criticism. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video here. If you are new to the channel, as I mentioned, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If this video did expand upon the situation, change your opinion, or otherwise you enjoyed it, please do subscribe, help me reach 100k, and help me reach that plaque so I can mock this dude and flex it on him. God, I sound like such a cocky ass now. I appreciate all of the recent support, as I mentioned, Twitter, Discord, other social media in the description. Thank you for watching. Peace. Says you wanna rock with a nigga like me. I'm a stylish guy. Spend a little guac with a nigga like me. We can catch a fly. Says you wanna rock with a nigga like me.